gold helmet, keeping that tradition going. Um, we, uh, we had a tough game. We knew coming into this week, uh, this past week, it was going to be a tough game. Uh, obviously, opening up with uh, the 13th ranked team in the country in Division II, um, you know, in New Haven, we knew that was going to be a big challenge. Um, strangely enough, I actually was pretty impressed with what we did and how we came out. Uh, we had an early lead, um, and we were really playing very well on, on defense. Um, and, uh, you know, a, a few turnovers and things like that put us in, in some tough spots. And, but I was really impressed with how we did some things defensively. Uh, we had some huge holes to fill uh, coming into the season. And, uh, you know, we lost Sean Loizzo and Tony Johnson on defense, who were both very good players for us in the past. But Mike Wiggins uh, stepped up at defensive end and uh, really entered the call. He had two sacks. Uh, three uh, TFLs, uh, 11 tackles, uh, just had a monster day and, and that was really good for us to see because going forward we're going to have to continue to have a way to create pressure on the quarterback and, and force some, some turnovers of our own uh, so that we can give the offense um, you know, some chances that way. Uh, I was also impressed with the way Joe Clancy stepped in, uh, did some really good things, uh, you know, went 35 to 50 on the day, you know, for your first start as a quarterback to step in there with as much pressure on him as there was, uh, I was, I was happy to see the way he performed. He obviously had a lot of help. Um, our preseason All-American uh, Isaiah Vaguely kept his uh, kept his uh, play at a high, very high level. He had uh, career high, 14 catches uh, for 130 yards. Uh, he was all over the place, and, and they had a really hard time trying to hold him down, and, and uh, that helped us going forward. And you know, obviously, he'll be a guy that we'll be relying on. Uh, it's interesting, Jack, that you started off with the poem about the offensive lineman. On on Sunday, I talked to our team, and uh, you know, we had an offensive lineman, Mike Hubbard from Wakefield, Massachusetts, that played the best game we've had an offensive lineman play since I've been at Merrimack and, and probably in my coaching career. He, he did a phenomenal job. Uh, they have two interior defensive linemen that are among the best in the country and he didn't give up a sack. Uh, he did a, a great job in the run game and uh, I was just really impressed with the way he did, did some things. It was good to see some newcomers step in for us as well. We had a freshman wide out, caught our first touchdown pass from Freeport, uh, Long Island. Uh, we also had a, a tra transfer, um, Irvin Johnson from um, Old Dominion, who came in and had an interception for a touchdown, started at free safety for us. Um, so, you know, I think some things are going to come together. Obviously, we have to make that happen. Um, when you lose a turnover battle, three to one, and, uh, you know, you, you only score on two out of four chances in the red zone, you know, you're not going to win games against great teams. We got another real good team coming in, uh, in Rowan, who traditionally has had, uh, you know, they've been in national title games, they've, they've uh, won national titles. Um, you know, they're coming off a huge win last week against uh, the number five team in the country. Uh, so we're going to have a huge challenge in front of us. Uh, we're just glad to be home. We, you know, we really believe that uh, we've, we've played really well at home, 4-1 and one at home last year. Uh, you know, our crowd and, and uh, you know, the energy that the student body brings to our games is, is you know, really uh, something that our players feed off of. And I know going into our first home game, the kids are really going to be fired up. And, um, you know, hopefully we can uh, avoid the turnovers and, and punch the ball in when we get down and close. So if we do that, I think we're going to be a real good football team. Thank you. A victorious must.